The scenes I discovered here were unambiguous. This race of winged beings, the architects of the pillars and the creators of the Reaver, were Nosgoth's first vampires. Their bloodthirst appeared to be a curse inflicted upon them by their vanquished enemies. These images confirmed the truths that Cain had divulged to me, but I had been too incredulous to accept. I struggled in vain to see how the pieces fit together, how Cain intended to escape the dilemma of his destiny, and what role he had plotted for me, and why Mobius and the dark powers with which he seemed to be allied were so desperate to see Cain dead, and so intent on me being the instrument of his execution. As the Reaver drained the forge of its vital energy, the tempest receded. I recovered myself, and paused to admire my newly forged weapon, now imbued with the elemental power of air. Thus armed, I hoped that I now finally possessed the means to escape this wasted land. had no choice but to act purely on blind faith. There was no way to tell what error this device was tuned to, and I had neither the knowledge nor the means to set the machine myself. I hesitated only briefly. Then, throwing the switch, I hurled myself into oblivion and relinquished my will to the hand of fate. Beyond all hope and against all probability, it seemed that the device had unerringly delivered me to the error I sought. For these were Seraphan banners, and these vampires apparently the victims of their crusade. The coincidence seemed too convenient to naively ascribe to fate, but whether my opportune arrival had been orchestrated by Mobius or some other influence, I didn't know. If Janos Audrin still lived, I would find him. But I was wary of further deception, and resolved to tread carefully. After my long journey, I finally stood on the threshold of enlightenment. For here was Janos Audrin's mountain retreat, and while I had no certainty that Janos still lived, this scene boded well. Janos Audrin? 
It is heartening after all these years to hear my name spoken without contempt. Razia? My child, what have they done to you? I have been dragged through hell and back, all it seems to reach this moment, but I don't yet know why. For thousands of years I have waited, alone, here, losing faith. At the time of the binding, nine guardians were called to serve the pillars, and I was summoned as the tenth guardian, the keeper of the reaver, the weapon of our salvation. Over time, our race died out, until I alone remained, sustained only by my obligation to you and by my guardianship of the blade. I have watched over the centuries as our history faded into myth and finally receded altogether. The humans have forgotten us entirely and claimed the pillars for themselves, wholly ignorant of their true purpose. To them, I am merely a devil, the origin of their vampire plague. Why would the pillars summon human guardians, then, if they are meant to be served by vampires? The pillars choose their guardians from birth, Raziel, and vampires are no longer born. This is the crux of our dilemma, and this is the terrible irony. With their vampire purge, the members of the Circle have assaulted the very architects of the pillars they are sworn to protect. They have embarked on a treacherous path. With every vampire they kill, the humans are slitting their own throats. Mankind seems to have brought you only torment and grief. You must hate them. They fear what they don't understand, and they despise what they fear. But no, I do not hate them. They don't understand what they're doing. They are simply unenlightened and vulnerable to manipulation. So, it's all true then, what Cain and Vorador have told me. I really am some kind of unholy vampire messiah. Unholy? No. Messiah, perhaps. I don't like that word. It smells of martyrdom. Raziel, your role in this world's destiny is more crucial and more benevolent than you've allowed yourself to believe. Your journey will not be easy. Dark powers are allied against you. But I think you already know this. You appear to have been cruelly tested. The binding must be secured, Razia. The pillars are the lock. And the reaver is the key. Yes. The reaver is here. Why do I feel nothing? The most formidable weapon ever forged by our swordsmiths. They infused the blade with vampiric energy, empowering the reaver to drain our enemies of their precious lifeblood. As Janos presented the blade, an inexplicable sense of dread crept over me, more palpable than anything I'd felt before. I was at once horribly repelled by the sword, and yet irresistibly compelled to touch it, to take it up. Please, take it away from me. You must save yourself, Raziel. Janos! No!